Welcome students to today's session. We are going into tissues part 3. Today we will discuss the remaining of the tissues. Today's topic first starts with muscular tissue. Muscular tissue is a connective tissue which helps in the movements of the body. It consists of elongated cells called muscle fibers. It contains a protein called the contractile protein which contracts and relaxes and helps in movements. Muscles which can move under our will are called as voluntary muscles. Muscles which do not move under our will are called as involuntary muscles. The picture shows you three different types of muscles. The cardiac muscles which is originating from the heart. The skeletal muscles which are from the hand. And the smooth muscles which are from the heart tissues or organs. The next is the striated muscles. Striated muscles are voluntary muscles having light and dark striations. You can see the banding pattern of the muscles in the picture. The cells are long, cylindrical and multinucleated. They are also called as skeletal muscles because they are attached to bones. They help in voluntary movement of the body. Like for example, the movement of the leg, the movement of the hand. All these are controlled by striated muscles. You can see two pictures over here. The first picture is the actual picture of the muscle and the second picture is the diagrammatic view of the muscle. The next is unstriated or smooth muscle. Unstriated muscles are involuntary muscles having no striations. The cells are long and spindle shaped and uninucleated. They are present in the alimentary canal, blood vessel, bronchi of the lungs, iris of the eye. They help in involuntary movement. Again, there are two pictures. The first one is the actual picture of the muscle which you can see as spindle fiber cells, spindle shaped cells. And the second picture is the, the diagrammatic picture which you can draw in your notebook. The third type of muscle is the cardiac muscle. Cardiac muscles are involuntary muscles having faint striations, very light striations. These cells are long, cylindrical, branched and multinucleated. They are present in the heart only and helps in contraction and relaxation of the heart. They are little tough muscles with branches which help to withstand the pumping action of the heart. The first picture gives you the actual structure of the muscle fiber. And the second picture gives you the diagrammatic view of the cardiac muscle fiber. The next type of tissue we are going to study is nervous tissue. Nervous tissue helps in carrying messages from one part of the body to the other and respond to stimuli. It is found in the brain, spinal cord and the nerves. It consists of nerve cells called as neurons. Neuron has a cell body which contains a nucleus and cytoplasm. It has hair-like structures called dendrites and a long part called as axon having nerve endings. The axon has a protective covering called as myelin sheath. The neurons are joined together to form the nerve fibers. The junction between two neurons is called as the synapse. It is through the neurons that messages are transmitted from the brain to different parts in the body and from the different parts of the body back to the brain. The first picture shows you the actual structure of the neurons present in the nervous tissue and the second picture gives you the diagrammatic view of the neuron structure. So with this we end today's session. The remaining of the tissues we will do in the next session. Thank you.